Well, you constantly see these uh, survival products uh, sold out there, like a survival blanket, survival jacket, and all this garbage. Um, what you can do, you know, a lot of times you would, um, if you're going to carry your cell phone around, uh, you're going to carry, you know, if you don't want to get wet, say, for instance, you're going out someplace and you have your cell phone with you. Maybe you don't have cell phone service, but sometimes it's good to have the cell phone with you. Um, but you want to, a lot of times you want to put it in a plastic bag, like a Ziploc bag. Well, you're going to be carrying a Ziploc bag around with you anyway. Um, get yourself a trash can liner. And if you ever get a situation where you're in severe rainstorm or anything like that, you don't have any rain gear, this trash can liner, this is a thin one. Now, you can get a thick one that can actually suffice as a ground mat too for crying out loud um, it'll still fit in there like a 55 gallon contractor bag but uh, these things are big enough when you open them up so these things are big enough that when you open them up you can you'll have a opening on the bottom and you can put your rip a tear a hole through here for your head and one here for each arm and you got yourself you know basically a windbreaker now I know you can accumulate sweat inside something like this where it's um, you know not breathable but it's so billowy and stuff on a, on a bottom that it is semi breathable in that way because you're gonna get some air circulation but if you're in a situation where and it doesn't have to be freezing now, if it's freezing weather, this can save your ass big time because, uh, you know, melting snow or freezing rain that's hitting your outer garment, it'll protect it from this garbage, uh, the garbage that's hitting you, and give you an extra air pocket. But you can be in temperatures like 55 degrees or 58 degrees, and if it's windy out and you got the wind and the rain's coming down, um, you can get hyperthermia. And that's, that's something that can really screw you up a lot faster than you think. So a lot of times people underestimate that. The reason I kind of picked up on hyperthermia a lot is when you're on a motorcycle. God, talk about how quickly the weather can change by 20 degrees with just a quick thunderstorm. Um, I actually carry a rain suit with me all the time in a motorcycle. But um, I used to, before I carried a rain suit, I used to carry one of these things. And just a trash bag. Any kind of trash bag can make a big difference. Now, you can get a large contractor size trash bag that um, basically works with that kind of trash can. It's real thick. And that can actually suffice, suffice as a, a ground mat without, you know, open, you know, tearing it up because they're long. They stand about, they stand about this high and they're thick, heavy construction. And, you know, they're doubled up. Like, this is doubled up. This is, like, real thin stuff. But still, it's just good enough to freaking work for, you know, a day. And it would still fit in there. A lot of times, uh, but, you know, there's no sale involved with survival equipment when you're talking about just get a trash can liner. But basically, that's really all you really need. You know, a survival blanket um, could be replaced with one of those large contractor style uh, trash bags versus one of those like something like I said you know versus a survival blanket that costs you a dollar you get something like that it doesn't even cost you a dollar and it's still a trash bag <laughs> when you want to use it later on you know the other side of using something like this is that um, say for instance you wanted to get some water and there was an area you can get some water in well you could pick up the water with this or you could possibly collect some water with this too from the rain um, I mean obviously you'll get wet but the thing is you can you can you can put this um, track this bag on the ground and let it collect some water like in a little indentation in the ground and you can, you know, use it to wash yourself or get a little bit of water and uh, drink it, whatever you need to do. So it's a little bit better than 
so many things they sell that are like, you know, this pocket survival jacket, this space blanket, and all this other bullshit. An ordinary trash bag works pretty damn good. And depends on, you know, something like this, this one here, just a real thin one. But it's so lightweight, you, you, it's like, it, it's less than half of what a wallet would be. Not even that, probably more like a quarter of what a wallet is. You know, so if you wanted to take it with you, it's nothing. If you want to get, you can actually even take one of these and take one of the heavy ones too. But it's got multiple uses. The other thing is too, say for instance, you had two of these, we can use one to gather water and one to protect you from the elements. So, you know, you don't need anything special. You know, I think this cost uh, 40 bags of this is like, I don't know, five bucks or something. So, you know, if you label something survival, all of a sudden it's worth more, right? But you don't really need that type of stuff. But anyway, I just figured I'd post this. A lot of people just aren't thinking out. And I knew about this from before because um, before I was even on motorcycles, I used to do the bicycle rides for like many, many miles. I used to take an ordinary... Uh, not one of these really big bags, but I was like a lot slimmer then. Um, you know, the bags you might get in like, uh, you know, the supermarket, the two little handles on them. And I just ripped the bottom out and the, the, the two handles were my, where my arms went through and the top part was open. It was where my head went through. And um, that saved me. That saved me from getting hyperthermia. But then I picked up on it later when I was riding a motorcycle. But just in general, you know, you can keep something like this in your car, and, you know, it's not a perfect solution because it's not something that breathes, and maybe if you sweat, you'll get... But then, if you know, if you sweat, in other words, if you have this, even like, where it's on you loosely, it's still got a pocket of air that acts as an insulator, so it can keep you from the cold, keep you from the rain, and it can also be used, and keep you from the wind. Especially the wind, which will really screw you up pretty quick because that really draws away the body heat. Anyway, good cheap ass tip. <laughs> and um, I don't know how many people tell you about this on the internet, but I knew about this from decades ago. And, you know, it's one of those things. Like in my vehicles, I actually have um, a sleeping bag. But if I didn't, or I have the. Um, uh, the wool, the wool blankets, the mill spec wool blankets. But in lieu of that, you can even have something like this. Or if you're just going on a day hike, take that, take that. You might need it. You never know.